Lesson 20, Sampling Techniques. Surveys are often conducted to gather data about a population. In the tree age example we just did, our population was all 100 trees. So a population is the entire group of people or objects that you want information about. A census is a survey of an entire population. So if we had um, determine the tree age of all 100 trees, we would have been taking a census of that population. But um, it's usually too difficult, expensive, and time-consuming to conduct a census, so we have to settle for a sample of part of the population. So that was our 10 trees that we chose. Let's do an example here. It says researchers at a hearing research center want to know if the music played during aerobics classes at health clubs is loud enough to cause hearing damage. They randomly choose 10 health clubs from the 150 health clubs in the area and measure the loudness of the music played during the aerobic classes. So what's our population here? Well, what we're concerned about is the 150 health clubs. So that's the entire population. And they are going to sample 10 health clubs to study. So 10 health clubs is the sample. We're going to talk about six different types of samples. And our first type of sample is a simple random sample, where members are chosen randomly and everybody has an equally likely chance of being selected. So when I used a random number generator to tell me which trees to sample, that's random. And that usually gives you the most unbiased sample. We're going to talk about bias in a little bit. We could also choose a systematic sample where members are chosen in a pattern, such as every other person. In our tree example, we chose rows and columns. We could also choose a diagonal, or we could choose every other tree, something like that. That would be a systematic sample. The next two types of sampling involve dividing the population into groups first. So in a stratified sample, first you divide the population into groups, and then you randomly choose members from each group. So if I had divided my sample into 10 columns and then randomly chosen a, a tree from each column, that would be a stratified sample. That's different from a cluster sample because I would still divide my population into groups, but then I would sample all or some of the members from only a few groups. So if I divided my trees into 10 groups and then randomly selected from four of those 10 groups, that would be a cluster sample. A convenience sample is where members are chosen because they're easily acceptable accessible. So in the example where I chose all the trees in one corner, maybe they were the easiest to get to, that's a convenient sample. And finally, you could have a self-selected sample where members volunteer to participate. This doesn't really correlate to our tree example, but if you, if I ask for um, someone to answer a question and I choose from the people who raise their hands, that's a self-selected sample. 